It's interesting, if you add oxygen to iron, you get the reddy goose, red, brown, right. um, yellows. But without oxygen, iron actually has a greeny tint. Oh, wow. Yep. So it's... Um, wow, I didn't know that. I knew yeah, that. Is, okay. So there's some little bits of shells here. So some of them are whole cool, and some of them are broken. How is that a fossil? Huh. Shell. Does that look like a fossil to you? No. Now, how would you know that's not a shell from the beach? Well, it doesn't look like the beach is long. Well, this isn't a beach, is it? No. So did anybody find a fossil? I found so. Has, has anybody ever found a fossil anywhere on Bowen? What, what did it look like? It was like a shell. And what? I think there was a fish. Oh, wow. Look at how we have sport just by my house and they have a play bed there too. Yeah. What, what color was it? What color should we be looking for? Um, white. White? I mean, it's three different colors, but... Okay. Does anybody see anything white? Yeah, right here. Hey, I got two big pieces. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's the best so far. Oh, so that's, what's that? That looks like a little snail. Snail shell. Snail shell. And what's, what's, what are these ones here? Probably the shell. Yeah. Like clams? Yeah, they're type, uh, like a little clam. They're all the same shape. Wow. So. <clears throat> Who believes me if I told you you're looking at an ancient seafloor? I do. What, why do you believe me? I don't know. I don't know. Why? Look at that one. But why? Well, you, your your first instinct was that that makes sense. How come? Island. 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 It could have been covered over. <laughs> it's going to be covered it's over with what? Water? 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 Where, where, do, where do seashells go? In the sand. In the sand where? In the ocean. In the ocean. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. One. These guys are probably like a scallop, and then they're <clears throat> these ones that are sort of smooth, and they have almost like tree rings, and they're more like this type of shell. Yeah, yeah, completely. Now you see, this is really neat. That's that is actually almost a true fossil. I mean, it's in the sense that it's an Im imprint as opposed to the shell itself. But you can see that something like that scallop shell once sat in there, eh? Yeah. And it came out, and that's the, the pattern that was left behind. I'd say, I, I, I like the idea that this was once covered by ocean. <clears throat> so how long ago then would these have been covered? Well, what we can, what, another fossil, maybe Bowen Island's most famous fossil, was found about 20 years ago, and it was a bone that um, Roy Bolton, who lives over at the top of Bolton Road, which is near Clarny Lake, um, he'd been to the park to, to walk around the lake, and he was digging a well in rock, in, in clay, just like this, 
and he basically saw what he thought was a cow bone in the, in the hole, except it was stuck in the mud way down deep, maybe 10 feet down below the, the surface. And so he uh, pulled it out and he went, oh, this must be a fossil. So he took it over to the University of British Columbia. That's the university when you look across the water there, it's on the point. And they did a special test on it and uh, they did something that they call sort of um, carbon-14 dating. It's a special technique that can date the age of old living things. And the, the, uh, the analysis showed that it was over 9,000 years old. Yeah. Which, and now, and that was something um, that then made geologists think, okay, now wait, uh, there's perhaps an explanation. Because about 10,000 years ago and, and older, there was something called the Ice Age. Has anybody ever heard of the Ice Ages? Yeah. What, what happened during the Ice Age? So if we were, if we were in the middle of the Ice Age, maybe 10,000 years ago, what would this place be like that we're standing on? Be cold? Yeah. Be covered in ice. How thick would the ice? Do you th how do you, how thick do you think the glacier would have been that we're would have been right here? That's your guess, Kelly. Yeah. So as tall as the tree, the glacier would be as tall as the tree. More? Like how much more? Like a mountain of ice? Yeah. Geologists think that the ice here would have been two kilometers thick. I mean, we would have been standing at the bottom of a glacier that went up two kilometers in the air. I mean, that's, that glacier would have been so thick that it would cover every mountain we can see from here with, with ice. So it was this giant glacier that was sort of creeping along. But, it, but at, when that glacier left, um, it, it pulled back the, the, the ocean sort of flowed in behind it when it when the glacier melted the ocean sort of came in behind and and here's the tricky part the ice was so heavy this is hard to believe the ice was so heavy this two kilometers of ice that it pushed the land down it made the land sink which seems impossible but it did and so when the ice melted away the ocean came in and for a while things that today are up above land were were underwater and that is what geologists think happened here, is that these, are, these fossils were part of a, a, a seafloor after the ice had left. It was still up in the mountains to the north, and we, were, we would have been standing here then under maybe 50 meters of water. So we would have, here talk about crazy thoughts. First of all, we're standing here and there's two kilometers of ice over our heads. And then that melts back over several thousand years, and now we're standing here under 50 meters of water. And then slowly, 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 the land starts to rise back up. And as it comes up, seafloor deposits get stranded high and dry on, on the edges of Bowen. So you can, so today, I mean, you can go anywhere on Bowen Island and it's possible, it's not, you won't find it, but it's possible um, to find shells on, on the lower parts of Bowen, not the highest parts of Bowen, because like the ocean. Deep Bay? Deep Bay would be a great place. Yeah. yeah. It's, lots of clay it sits on a big clay layer, yeah. And there's a, I know there's, there's a good little place um, right where Dorman Creek comes down, uh, right where Dorman Road crosses it, just above the picnic fields. There's another sort of good little sort of shelly place. Okay. So there, so Bowen has fossils, and they all come from the same time uh, when the oceans were higher. Yeah. You found a really big fossil. Peru. Yeah. Oh. Uh, how, why, why is this rock grey on the outside and then sort of black on the inside? I like that question. You know why? Because we were starting to talk about something else over here. And that is, why is some of this clay sort of grey and some of it brown? And when you look at it up close, it looks the same except it's a different colour. And you're sort of seeing the same thing. There's a difference between colour, between that and that. 
And the answer is, it's sort of in a loose sense, it's rusting. Rusting? It's rusting. I mean, that, that clay is literally rusting. It is, um, because it is, it's full of iron, like everything, even though it doesn't look like it, all rocks have got lots of iron, all clays have got iron and, and, and sand has got iron in it. And so when you let, sort of the, 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 and you can see the groundwaters flowing up there in the soil, those groundwaters are sort of full of oxygen because the air is full of oxygen, and that that little bit of oxygen gets carried down into the into the clay, um, and essentially it, it reacts with the iron and turns it brown. And your piece is a really is a neat example because you've broken this open and you're looking at the the fresh clay inside, but the clay on the outside that where the oxygen has got to. Has has caused sort of a change in color. Now here it's you know black to gray. There it's sort of gray to um, brown. But it's that's sort of like step one in this reaction with oxygen. That's interesting. Thank you. Yeah. No. It's sort of like us. I mean, we're. I mean, if we weren't living, we'd be decomposing too. We'd be reacting. Change your mind. Would the soil then have been caused by the vegetation that would have eventually taken hold? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you know, it's interesting. You, can, you sort of see a, a pebble layer there. Yes. And imagine this. So if this is C4, so at some point, say we're below 50 meters of water, but then as the land rises, it's going to be 40 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters, and be sediment zero though. meters. Right. At some point, we'll be at a beach. This, so if, if that was seafloor, there has to be a beach deposit on top of it, okay. of some type, okay. because, you know, as the island lifted, the beach would have been high and then it would have sort of slid down to its present position. So the beach may leave a record behind it. And typically on Bowen, what you see is the shallowest soils are, um, often you have these clay layers, and people call it hard pan. You know, okay. that's the colloquial term on the island for a hard pan. And then on top of the hard pan is sort of a sandy soil. And, and it can have boulders and, and um, pebbles in it. Stuff that you go, oh yeah, it's sort of like a beach. So, and that's, I'm just looking at our line right below yeah. the... Yeah, right yeah. below the, the grass. The, and the where the, the pebbles are much and more And they're abundant. round, too. And they're round, and if, if you poked your finger into that rather than clay, it would be sort of sand or something. So that's, literally, that's sort of seafloor deposits and a beach deposit, and then, you know, as the island continued to rise, then things grew into that sand, and the organic matter started to collect, and you get that sort of black organic layer. Yeah. Okay. Both sides. Wow. Oh, oh that's wow. one of those tiny little razor clams. That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's a score. So it. Yeah, that must have. Um, I found it in the water. In the water, just floating along, eh? Wow, great eye. Well, this is, these guys are all going back to the school. You guys are going to have some time to sort of poke and separate and put in categories. And So are these truly uh, fossilized or are they simply been encased in clay and preserved that way? I think it's the latter. Yeah, I think these are um, just encased in clay and they're pretty much their um, original material. Right. They might be slightly fossilized. I'm sure there's been some exchange in there. Of the minerals, yeah. yeah but but typically, a, a fossil is something where minerals have replaced the, the original uh, organic matter. Yeah. Yeah, so these are sort of in that transition zone. Yeah, no, these are...